Hi everybody, my name is Bernie. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Today we're gonna talk about tips for having a successful succulent session. We're gonna talk about tips for having a success. Today we're gonna be talking about tips to have a successful succulent section in Las Vegas. This will be six tips for having a successful succulent section. So in this video, I'm gonna go over one through three tips one through three and then in the next video in the next blog vlog is this a vlog this is technically a vlog next vlog video blog oh, but this is like a vlog not in the sense of a vlog but anyways i'll be talking about the last three tips all right let's get started have you ever walked around your neighborhood and then spotted succulents whether it be a whole window full of them, or a whole patio full, or even just a small pot, a small succulent arrangement, just out and about while you're walking around in your neighborhood, or apartment complex, wherever you live. Maybe it inspired you to start your own succulent section, or if you already had like a little one, you wanted to like expand on it, or seeing that triggered something in you <laughs> I got a confession I'm one of those crazy I'm crazy said who when I first moved here I realized that it was dry as fuck and I really started to appreciate plants a lot more and greenery and life <laughs> green signs of life out here in vegas I and mean, just in general i especially loved seeing the different plants that my fellow neighbors would grow or have thanks to my mom giving me an arrangement i was able to grow my own succulents thanks mom and along the way i made a whole bunch of mistakes caring for my succulents. If you're a succulent beginner that lives in Las Vegas and you would like to start your own succulent section or you want to expand it into something like like a window display, my intention for this blog and my hope for this blog is for you to gain a better understanding of succulents a little better and help you create a bomb ass succulent section for yourself. It's fun, it's a cool hobby, it's a rewarding hobby. It makes people feel good. Anyways, all right, here we go. Tips for a successful succulent section in Las Vegas. Tip number one, know their origins. Succulents have superpowers. Okay, maybe not technically, but to me they do. Okay, like hear me out. AKA how they've adapted into the fat plants that they are. It's important to know where succulents come from because it'll give you a better understanding of the kind of care that they need and the, the best type of environment that they would do well in. Okay, so after doing much research on the internet, I see no true set origin for where succulents come from but from all of the blogs and all of the research and data i was looking up on at the internet i can definitely say that a commonality that they all had in terms of where succulents originated um is africa which makes a lot of sense because they have the desert they have their own desert the sahara desert which takes up like only like the northern part of africa but it's a desert. Now, I don't know this for sure. This is just a guesstimate. This is just my educated guess. But if there's a commonality that succulents come from Africa and succulents are supposed to be drought tolerant plants, what part of Africa? Maybe the desert. I don't know this for sure, but that's what I believe. This brings me to my next point, their superpower. It all has to do with where they come from and how they came to be. So succulent superpower is basically this bomb evolutionary adaptation where throughout the years, 
they've created it so that they are able to store water inside of their leaves and their stems, which is why they're called succulents. They're super fat and they're super thick and they're super juicy and full of water because they use it as a survival mechanism at like literally their their stored water for environments that <laughs> lack rain it's actually raining right now but yikes anyways so that's their superpower because these plants come from a continent that includes a massive desert that has little to no rain other places like Las Vegas that replicate a similar environment from where succulents are from would make a really good fit for succulents to live. All right, moving on to tip number two, considering their environment. So the reason why we were talking about origin in the first tip is because it relates directly to this tip. Knowing the origin of succulents, aka Africa, will help you understand the environments that the succulents will live in. Um, or best live in. The environment includes the city and the state that you're living, it includes the geography of where you live, aka like the land, it includes climate and whether it's indoor or outdoor and other things of that nature. The idea is that what surrounds your plant immediately and indirectly affects our growth greatly. So the environmental factors that I list don't need to match exactly the same type of environment that Africa has. Obviously we live in a different continent, we live in a different state geographically, just, but you'll have a better idea of what your plant will need, what your succulent plant will need, and the type of environment to regulate for its best success. You can start connecting the dots and see and start to see how succulents have the potential to do awesome in Las Vegas. If given the right care and circumstances, literally given. We as succulent caretakers are in charge of this succulent, this life. And if we give it everything it needs, they're gonna do amazing, they'll thrive, um, they'll give you fucking babies for days. I like show and tell new one every week. So considering succulents in Las Vegas, knowing that they come from Africa. Let's talk about all the environmental factors and how they tie in. So in terms of their, the city and state, um, obviously we live in Las Vegas, we're talking about Las Vegas, and the city of Las Vegas works for succulents. It just does. Yes, it's a desert, but we got hella sun out here. All right, succulents love that shit. Now whether it's indoor sun or outdoor sun, we'll talk about soon. In terms of geography, it's a desert <laughs> next to Death Valley. And because geographically we live in the desert, that affects the next part of Las Vegas's environment to consider, um, which is the climate. So because we live in the desert, the climate can range from polar opposites. So in the summertime, it can get hot as shit. And then during the winter time, it can get cold, pretty cold. We don't really get frost that much, but we could. I've never experienced it myself, but I'm sure other people have. And speaking of wetness, we have a monsoon season that hits around June-ish to September-ish. But last year was the first year of the non-soon season aka there was no monsoon there was no fucking rain during that <gasps> that terrible summer i'm having flashbacks that's okay and even though we live in the land of extremes 
it is very possible to have your own succulent section in Las Vegas. Again, as long as you provide the right kind of care. Last but not least, there's the indoor, outdoor, environmental factor to consider. If your plant is gonna be outdoors, I'm excited for you. <gasps> oh my God, I should show it. <sighs> okay. If you're gonna be growing your succulent section outdoors, I'm very excited for you. You know why? Because if given the proper amount of light um, and shade, heat protection, sun protection, water, they can grow like amazingly. Last year, I had put this elephant's bush out, um, out by my door. It was a south facing, um, south facing kind of window esque, whatever. Um, and I had rescued this plant from my cousin who didn't know shit about succulents and she told me to take care of it and I took care of it. So you see how it is right now? Like, this is about as big as I had it when I had first gotten it. Um, Obviously the leaves, this needs fucking water. The leaves are huge, at least bigger than, okay, here, <laughs> I got two. All right, so compare these two elephant's bushes. This is one from indoors, this is one from outdoors. See the difference in growth? When they're outdoors, um, and depending on, again, the shade that they're given, the light that they're given, the care that they're given, they have the potential to grow fucking huge in terms of their leaf size, in terms of their height. But basically, your succulents can do very well outside. Goddamn, she a beaut. Okay, I'll keep this with me. If your plant is gonna be indoors, then that's awesome too because depending on your situation, depending on your lighting, depending on the space that you have, you could just have a bomb succulent section, Lord. Obviously, you won't, you won't be required to have the same, I guess, intensity and level of care as outdoor succulents because our indoor environment is awesome. <laughs> it's an ideal environment for succulents to live inside. This is not inside. Okay, this is actually not my aloe, but it's my best friend's aloe. <laughs> and it needs water, but this is an indoor aloe, or this is an, uh, an aloe that grows indoors. And like, I mean, it's happy as shit. Like it's growing one, two, one, baby two, baby three, baby four, baby five, baby. I'm pretty sure there's a sixth baby somewhere, but. You know, it's a little bit funkier of an aloe, but <laughs> indoor care, indoor plant care, totally doable in Las Vegas. All right, so that's what I have for you today. Just went over the first two tips that I had for you guys, and I will be creating videos on the next four tips. I hope this video helped you understand succulents origins and where they come from as well as their environments helps i hope it helps you understand the types of environments that they come from and that they would do well in especially if you live in las vegas all right you guys thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day please subscribe if you haven't already if you want more succulent content like this Yeah, subscribe. Um, thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs> thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys. Later.